anybody was here yesterday, I'm just going to pop through a couple of slides referencing buildings again. So don't get bored. I'm just using it for uh, just show what's going on. Um, the NAP of the Americas is one of the biggest internet exchanges in the world. Um, from a, a traffic standpoint, we're probably we call it a top ten internet exchange. And and I think I spoke yesterday that we handle a, well over ninety percent of the traffic between North and South America. Mike, for example, from Hurricane Electric's there. Srihari's got a, a VPF switch in there. Um, CRG actually is a customer of ours inside our facility. We're just we are the handoff point de facto, no matter what, uh, for that entire region. Um, so I won't talk about the building, but it is, you know, hurricane survivability, uptime no matter what, you know, go on forever and ever. Uh, Virginia's a little different. The reason I put this back up for NAP of the Capital Region, even though it's just going live pretty much this week, I want to talk about it because it's a federal exchange site, and that's very, very interesting. That's where you have lots of agencies actually handing off traffic to each other, uh, especially, especially for uh, um, SIPR net, secure network stuff. So it's a federal internet exchange, which is quite unique. I'm the only guy doing that one. Um, we're actually the only entity on the GSA schedule offering top secret SCIF services for the government. Um, there is no other entity doing that. Kind of carrier neutral environment. And uh, for V6, Mike's going to move in there, right? So, I'm, hey, I'm working on moving a ring in that area. I'm cornering so, you, aren't I? That's you good. Just now That's have, public. Have added to the list. <laughs> um, so, our switches, we use Force 10 switches. We were actually the first exchange point in the world to do that. This is a Force 10 1200 switch. Um, as these get loaded up, we, we juice them up now almost always with 10 gig ports. Um, I give away fast EPR port for free. We make giggies a thousand dollars and ten gigs twenty five hundred dollars. Um, you know, CRG is a little bit different with the NE2. They've got completely free ports, um, and and I do on occasion, depending on the deal, give away a free port. If somebody has co-location, enough space, enough value, free port. It's it does happen, and I will. And Mike, didn't I give you a second ten gig for free when I did your deal? No, we have it now. Oh, I got, I got <laughs> it's coming now. Okay. I got it. Now, now I put myself on the spot. Um, <laughs> Um, something a little bit, uh, I thought I deleted that slide. Anyway, this is all the different stuff we do. Do cross-connecting, multiplexing, demultiplexing, international gateway services, so SDH to conversions, all kinds of stuff uh, for the telco side of the house because it, it, it is relevant in, in our world. This is very special, um, and nobody's doing this in, in, in any other place in the world that we know of for an internet exchange. These are Lucent Lambia nights. Each switch is 320 gigs of redundant matrix, and essentially we take a 10 gig link from somebody like uh, like Mike or Sprint or somebody like that, and they want us to groom it out for them and start delivering circuits to their customers. What happened is we had over 7,000 cross connects, and we we're having a hard time with outages. And it was such a big outage; it was, you know, in the case of a 10 gig to Costa Rica, that's the whole country. It goes out, the whole country's out, so it's a problem. So time to resolution was a big issue for us because it had such critical connectivity going through there. So putting everything through these switches, and I think there's like these are like a million dollars each. I think we have seven of them now um, inside this one, inside the Westview Point room. Uh, when a customer comes in, we can and plugs into this, we can actually log in and see what the outage is very quickly and be able to resolve it very very quickly instead of sending texts out there and the time consuming thing. This happens at three in the morning and there's only a few texts on the floor and they're doing other things. It can be even worse. So this makes it instantaneous through the knock is a big advantage. Um, and 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 if you look on the bottom here, I have. Actually, it should be over 7,000 cross connects now. I missed. I, I just did my slides a minute ago, um, and well over a terabyte of traffic, a terabit of traffic, I should say. So, uh, so it's massive, massive scalability inside the, inside these switches. If you look at I have seven, and they're 320 gigs each, you can start to work out the math. It's it's massive. That's it.